<sighs> Open the door. Now, unshackle him. Leave us alone. I need to... to talk to him. Well, mortal, it seems that, for once, I was wrong. I misjudged the situation, this once. Admit it. Let me tell you what happened for real. Yesterday, you closed my coffin as ordered. You were gardening like the good, obedient little slave you are. But then, something unexpected happened. You received a visit from a person you trusted. Your friendly, elven boss, Ariel. She somehow convinced you to leave the room with her. And I think I know with what promise. <sighs> Let's not talk about that. What matters is that she got you out of the room with her. And she brought you into some distant room and locked you inside it with her magic. She then came back into my room and started to open my coffin. She made a mistake though. She wanted you to eventually break free. So she only put limited strength on the magical lock. But in her plan, you would only have been able to get out once I was dead. You would have rushed to my room, trying to stop her. But I would already have been dead. And she would have done exactly what she did yesterday. The only difference would have been my actual death. And she would have blamed you. Make no mistake. If I was killed and she managed to lay the blame on you, you would have been killed by my demonic servants on the spot. They are quite ruthless when it comes to defending myself or avenging my death. But she miscalculated the power of her enchantment. It was too weak to hold you back long enough. Or maybe there is another reason why you overpowered it. But it's not important right now. What matters is that you managed to come back. To... to save me. You fought that. You fought that traitor. You managed to hold her back long enough for my minotaur to rush in and fix the problem. And then she managed to tell that loathsome lie about how she stopped you from exposing me to the sunlight. And if she hadn't stopped you in time, I would be dead. I would really like to crush her bones now, and I'm thinking about it again. <sighs> it's all right now, though. Fortunately, an imp who was hiding the whole time told me the truth today, and I'm having Aral punished right now. Well, not that you should care what I'm doing to her, right? After all, it's not like you two are in a relationship, seeing how I specifically prohibited you from getting any closer to her. And you would never dare disobey my command, wouldn't you? Hmm, what's that? Oh. Huh. Very well. Go ahead, then. Hmm. I see. So, the way she got out of the room was with the promise of your flesh interwining. Ah, 
humans and their pathetic pitiful desires. Can you never really get reason before pleasure? Elves are diabolical, manipulative creatures. She didn't even have to try so hard. This also means, unfortunately, that not only did you embarrass yourself by looking like a fool who can't control his basic instinct, but, and this is very serious, you failed to obey my explicit order to stay away from me. This, my little slaves, calls for one thing and one thing only. Punishment. Now, lay down that bed immediately. Do not anger me any further, mortal. I am even too upset as it is. Finally, learn your place. As refreshing as always, I admit I missed the taste of her blood, and yet you seem oddly relaxed. I am punishing you for disobeying your mistress, you little arrogant piece of trash. You don't deserve even half of the grace I'm showing you, yet... Something compels me to... Ugh, stop it! Stop being so tantalously attractive! Curse you! I am barely holding back! I cannot allow myself to like an irrelevant, insignificant, finite mortal! This whole affair needs to end. You are too much beneath me and I can't afford to succumb to this weakness. I have feared very well on my own for centuries, and now you come here to upset the balance. I should have disposed of you when I had the first chance. Now, though, it's too late. I hate and love the way you make me feel. I would like to tear my heart out of my chest and crush it to stop it from, from, from trying to make me feel like you. Still, I like the poetry it produces when I look at you from afar. I despise you with my left hand and I praise you with my right hand. My soul is torn even though I considered myself soulless. My heart rises in two opposite directions even though it has been beating for a long time. You... You have overwhelmed my senses and feelings and... and I will make you pay for this... somehow. I know there must be some way to stop this. I, I don't want to concede. I will not fail, falter. I am your mistress. You are my servant. This is all you'll ever get. Do you read me? Stop making this dead heart beat. I, I order you to stop. I... I can take it anymore. This is hopeless. Very well. I had enough. Wipe that thunderstruck expression from your face. Get up and get back to work. Now, stop. Before you go... I 
was immobilized and vulnerable and you stepped up to defend me. Many would have just let me die to achieve a freedom, but you didn't. I don't want you to tell me why you did this. Just get back to work. Lazy slaves get no treats.